Do people have, always have a negative impact on the environment? My name is Tony Ray. I'm a middle school teacher at JFK Middle School, and I also hit the winning shot in 1987 at Austin Peay State University to propel us past Illinois in one of the greatest upsets in NCAA history. Steve, what was you doing 35 years ago? Well, Tony, I remember it well because 35 years ago, I was growing up in Champaign, Illinois, one of the biggest Illini fans around. And I'm sorry about that, <laughs> but the stars were just lined up. Tony, you realize you made three-year-old me cry, right? I'm sorry, I do not like to make kids cry, but I had a mission to accomplish. I was trying to propel our team to history. Well, really, the story starts in the OVC tournament. Mm -hmm. You weren't supposed to win down at the Murphy Center, yes. but somehow you cut down the net. All three games, we were down in trailing. We came back, and then when we got to the last game, Richie Armstrong hit a buzzer beater at half court, so we didn't have a shot up until the last shot of the OVC tournament, and that what snuck us into the big dance. The Governors made it in as a 14 seed, and in front of them was a date with trendy national title pick Illinois led by Hall of Fame coach Lou Henson and star Ken Norman. Then a little bit of doubt seeped into our mind because we saw them play on TV and we knew they had an All-American, we knew they had a great coach. Everybody when they were going through the parents would say, this is an easy win for Illinois and they were going just to the next round. The most vocal of the doubters was legendary ESPN analyst Dick Vitale. He came on the national TV and said, there is no way Austin P could get close to beating Illinois. I tell you what, baby, if they beat Illinois, I will stand on my head in, on national TV. Illinois led early, but a halftime buzzer beater pulled P within three. That really changed the momentum. It let us know, hey, this could happen. Everybody was gassed up, and it was just like, okay, here we go. It's our time. The Illini still led by one when Ray was fouled with two seconds left sending just a 56% free throw shooter to the line for the chance to take the lead. At first, what was going through my mind is, oh, Lord, I'm thinking, focus, take your time. During the timeout, Coach Kelly, he never said anything to me. He just said what we're going to do after Tony makes the free throws. None of my teammates said anything to me. So it was a lot of pressure at that moment. Ray hit both free throws, and when Illinois' last shot was off the mark, Cinderella had pulled the upset. We realized what happened. We started running around the court. Our fans, which are the greatest fans in the world, just went berserk. And of course, as soon as we won, they said the switchboards were lighting up and Dick Vitale was true to his word and he stood on his head. A March Madness moment that lives on even 35 years later. We're still in the top 20 upsets of all time in NCAA history. Well, like I told you, you ruined my day when I was a three-year-old in front of a packed gym down there in Birmingham. We got a packed gym here today at JFK. You think you can hit two more? I think I can. All right, well, I'll tell you this. Just like Dickie V, you hit two more, and I'll stand on my head. Steve, you got a deal, all right? All right. Let's do it. All right, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. All right, your whole class is watching. No pressure at all here. Okay, you got one. Can he do it again? Well, Tony, looks yeah. like you still got it, my man. Yes, March Madness, 35 years later, and hopefully 35 years later from here, I still have it. It's March Madness. Yeah, and a shot that lives on forever.